The third Battle of the Hook was a battle of the Korean War that took place between a United Nations command force, consisting mostly of British troops, supported on their flanks by American and Turkish units against a predominantly Chinese force. Chapter 1 Background By 1953, elements of the UN forces were engaged in fierce fighting to prevent the Chinese People's Volunteer Army forces from gaining ground, prior to a possible ceasefire. This was to deny them additional bargaining power, during negotiations. One such action took place at a feature called the Hook, a crescent-shaped ridge near the Samikon River, a tributary of the Imjin River near Kesung. There had been two previous engagements at the Hook earlier in the Korean War during 1952 when first the United States Marine Corps in October, and later the Scottish Black Watch Regiment in November, had successfully held the hook against PVA assaults. This ridge was a place of tactical importance in the 1st Commonwealth Division sector, it was a potential attack route which the PVA needed to take before assaulting Yongdong, and opening up an invasion route to Seoul, the South Korean capital. On 13 May 1953, the 1st Battalion the Duke of Wellington's regiment were moved from its position on Yongdong, to relieve the Black Watch, who had been defending the hook. During this period, the Black Watch had suffered 12 soldiers killed, 73 wounded and 20 missing. Over the next two weeks the Dukes were under constant sniper, mortar and artillery fire. This was then followed up in a major action over the 28-29 May following heavy initial artillery and mortar fire, after which the PVA infantry attacked in force. Between 19 May and the 29th of May the Dukes suffered 15 killed in action, 95 wounded and 32 missing. They were relieved by the Royal Fusiliers later in the day of the 29th of May. Chapter 2 Battle The PVA forces charged the forward British positions once the bombardment ceased. The Dukes were outnumbered by 5 to 1. The fighting that ensued was bloody and akin to the battles that the Dukes had fought during World War I. Artillery shells rained down on the hook, from both the PVA and UN forces. The PVA launched a second attack but were cut down by heavy artillery fire from UN forces. Further attacks occurred during the day, but all were defeated in heavy fighting. Just 30 minutes into the 29th of May, the PVA forces launched another attack, but they were again beaten back. The Dukes began advancing up the line of the original trenches to dislodge the remaining PVA in the forward trenches. The Dukes secured the hook at 3.30. For their action they were awarded the battle honor the hook. Chapter 2 Section 1 – Chinese Shelling Between 19 May and 29 May, PVA artillery fired over 20,000 shells onto the hook position, and 11,000 of these shells were fired on the night of the 28th of May, with over 200 heavy caliber shells hitting the hook positions in the one hour between 1745 and 1845. Chapter 2 Section 2, United Nations Shelling 37,818 shells of all calibers were fired by British artillery and the US Army I Corps artillery, including 155mm, 8-inch, and 240 mm shells and 325 rockets from a U.S. rocket battery. Firing directly upon the enemy, the Centurions of Sea Squadron, 1st Royal Tank Regiment used 50420 PDR shells. Chapter 3, Aftermath PVA casualties were 167 by body count, while their actual casualties were estimated at 1,050 killed and over 800 wounded. The Dukes suffered three officers and 17 other ranks killed, two officers and 84 other ranks wounded, with 20 men missing. There were other casualties from other supporting units listed below. In addition, there were a further 50 casualties from artillery and mortar attacks between 10 May and the 28th of May. Casualties from other supporting units. 20th Field Regiment RA-2 men killed, 4 wounded. 61st Light Regiment RA-1 man killed, 7 wounded. 1st Battalion King's Regiment, 7 men wounded. 1st Battalion Black Watch, 1 man wounded. CATCOMS, 1 man killed. 
Total UN casualties, 24 killed, 105 wounded, 20 missing for their action, the Duke of Wellington's regiment was awarded the Battle Honor the Hook 1953. Later, the 1st Battalion's headquarter company was renamed Hook Company. Shortly after on 2 June 1953, to mark the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II the division's artillery fired red, white and blue smoke shells onto the PVA lines, followed by a salute from Centurion tanks which fired his shells onto a single target. The hook was defended on a fourth occasion immediately prior to the armistice by an Australian infantry battalion, a New Zealand artillery regiment and two US infantry regiments, supported by British tanks, during the Battle of the Samikon River.